Welcome back to The Artful Chef. I'm here today with my helper, Jara. Jara. So we are talking about the color wheel again this week. So we have talked about the color wheel using oil pastels and colored pencils. We are going to actually be doing some paint mixing this week. So I've been telling you guys um, since school started that you needed some colors to have at home to do this with. So you need a red, a blue, and a yellow. Um, I told you it was optional, so if you did purchase the optional black and white, you will be able to do tints and shades um, and some tones. And so Jara is going to demonstrate if you just have the red, blue, and yellow. And I'm going to demonstrate if you have the black and white on our final piece. So we are working on an art piece this week where we've talked about briefly symmetry. So we are going to focus on some symmetry this week. We are also going to talk about balance and um, contrast, all very important principles of art. So I have contrast here by having my dark areas and my light areas. We have balance by everything being the same all the way around and we have radial symmetry. So radial symmetry here as well. Radial symmetry oh, starts from the center and comes out it is exactly the same in every little section that goes around. So I have created my art piece with black crayon. So what I want you to do is on your design, you're going to use black crayon because we're going to do a resist. So a resist is where paint does not stick to the waxy substance that crayons are made out of. So go ahead and make your design with your black crayon, then we will fill it in with paint. I'm gonna to talk to you about how to begin the, the, the circle part of the color wheel so that you can lay that out first. But I want to quickly address some cool little hacks uh, for art teachers or for parents at home that when you have kids and you wanna work with paint. So, the tops of Elmer's glue bottles or any kind of little liquid glue bottle are really great for the tops of paint bottles. So don't ever throw away those little lids that come with glue because you can easily, whoops, as I just did, um, draw with this and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So you can direct your paint by using a squeeze of the bottle like that. So. These are wonderful, wonderful for using on um, paint bottles. I didn't know that. I know, right? <laughs> so That's another, it is smart, right? See, I'm good like that. So um, I have a bucket of um, just water here with a sponge, and so I'm just gonna wipe that off so I can start over. So another thing that I want to talk to you about is color mixing and um, what we're gonna use to mix colors with this week. So. I'm sure everyone has at home a piece of plastic wrap. So this is just plastic wrap laid on top of a piece of paper, white paper, so that you can, when you mix your colors together, actually see it and then wipe it off with your sponge like I just did. If you have an art room, these you can buy um, on Amazon. They are condiment cups, so like for restaurants. So this one's a four ounce cup. What I do in my classroom is I take these and I take a hole punch and I punch a little hole in the top of this lid and I use pipettes. So these also you can purchase on Amazon very inexpensively. And to evenly distribute paint and to cut down on the mess and the waste and all those things that go into an art room that um, you're constantly buying paint and wasting paint. You take your little pipette, they dip it through the hole that has the hole punch in here, and they can easily dispense um, little small amounts of paint at a time so that um, one, you're not wasting paint, but two, they can actually see the color changes and figure out how much of each color you need to be able to make the colors that you're trying to make. So I will link these in the description. They are wonderful and they I, I can use the same um, paint cups all week by having them in these with the lids on them with just that tiny little hole and, and have a lot less waste in my art room. Smart one. Thank you. Very smart. So now we're gonna get started on how to begin with our color wheel and we're gonna talk about the different um, mixtures of paint. So, Jara, do you know what primary colors are? Primary colors, they're 
blue, yellow, and red. Blue, blue, yellow, and red are our primary colors. So we are going to talk about primary colors and secondary colors. Secondary colors are what? Green, purple, and orange. Very yeah. good, green, green purple, purple, and orange. orange. So you get your secondary colors by mixing your primary colors. So let's review. Red and yellow make... Red and yellow, orange. Red and yellow make orange. Red and blue make... Red and blue make... Um, uh, purple. 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 Okay. Yeah, and yellow purple. and blue makes... Yellow and blue makes uh, green. Green. Very good. So we have talked about all of these already in our color pencil lessons and in our oil pastel lessons. Now we're going to add a new one today. They're tertiary colors. So it's a kind of a hard word. Um, I always mispronounce it, but tertiary colors are those third level of colors. So when you take a primary color and you mix it with a secondary color, you get that third level. So you get those tertiary colors. So those would be colors like yellow green, blue green, or red purple or blue purple, those kinds of colors. So we're going to mix all those colors today. So you ready to get started? Yeah. All right. So at home, if you have plastic wrap that you can put over a piece of paper to do your color mixing, that's perfect. You can also use one of these little plastic page protectors and you can put a piece yeah. of paper inside it. Those are great for easy cleanup. Or you could use a gallon size Ziploc bag. Slide your paper in that. It doesn't even have to close because all you need to do is be able to put your paint on the surface and then easily wipe it off. So hey, for your assignment this week, you are going to mix your colors. You're gonna put your sample color on your paper and then tell me how much of each color you used to be able to create the color that you created. Okay, so that is your one lesson in um, Canvas this week. So you will turn that into the lesson portion. Then for your assignment in Canvas, you will do this picture that we talked about earlier where you're going to create that symmetry on here with crayons, so you can create that resist. I'm gonna show you real quick how to get started with the drawing on this. You do need a lot of pieces of your pie here, so you need 12 pieces of your pie. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you do want to find the center of your paper, unless you are tracing um, something that's round, if you have something that's round, you can do that, especially if you're doing this version. So if all you have at home is red, yellow, and blue, and you're not going to be making tints and shades, then you can trace something round and divide it into sections. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, on my example, be using tints and shades. So I have gone all the way to the edge of the paper so that I have more space to fill in. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it that way it works the same way if you have a circle because you still need to divide it up in the same number of pieces. So if you're going all the way to the edge of your paper, you wanna put your ruler from one corner to the other and make a mark near the center. Then you want to put your, put your ruler on the other corner of the paper, corner to corner. So where the two lines cross, that's the dead center of your page. Oh, so, I didn't know you could do that. That's yeah. really cool. It is cool. And because your paper is like a rectangle and not a square, it's a great way to find your center point. Oh, so yeah, that's good. you're going to start by using that center point as your guide. And you're going to make a line from top to bottom. Okay. And then you're going to make a line across from side to side still using that center point as your guide. And then in order to have enough spaces to do all the colors that we're going to create, you're going to divide each one of these pieces into three additional wedges. So you have to divide these two up. If you take your ruler and you use that guide again, there in the center, always using that guide in the center, and you're going to create a diagonal. Try to evenly space your your wedges, so you're gonna draw a line all the way across your paper. So now you need one more line here, using that center as a guide. Draw a line across this way. 
So now I have three pieces here and three pieces here. We will repeat that process in this one. Oh, that's smart. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I teach. <laughs> All right, so now I have 12 pieces. That is exactly how many I need to be able to create this artwork. So now let's get started on the color mixing and we'll come back to this one later. So let me move these things out of the way. So Jera, what I want you to do, we're gonna use this color wheel as our guide. So what I'm gonna do is if you use these little small bottles um, that can easily be purchased at Walmart or on Amazon, um, yeah. They, they have this great little hole in them that makes it perfect for dispensing. So please don't pour this into a bowl for this portion of it because what I want you to do is, is learn how much of each color you need in small amounts so that when you mix them in larger amounts, you know how much you need to be able to make the same color. So if it's one part one color and one part another color, you know you need equal amounts, but if it's two parts of one and one part of another, Such then as. that's going to come into play later when you're creating other colors, all right? Nice. So you have to squeeze very gently. Um, and then sometimes the paint kind of has air pockets in it, so be careful of that because it can kind of pop out at you unexpectedly. <laughs> um, makes <laughs> a little that mess, we've had that times. happen. Um, so Jera, so Right now, we have, we know that our yellow, our blue, and our red are gonna match, right? Because they're yellow, yeah. blue, and red. So which color do you wanna make first? You wanna just work our way around? I want to go yellow, let's make green. Let's make green, so okay. So yellow and blue. Yellow and blue, okay. So anytime you're using dark colors, they you need a lot less of the dark color to create the color that you're looking for. So, Jarrah. I want you to first give me one dot of blue on here. One dot of blue coming right up. One dot. One dot. All right. One dot of blue. Remember, one squeeze gently. Okay. Blue. That's enough. That's enough. You're about to do two. And you that's do two. Enough. <laughs> that's enough. That's a big dollop. Okay. <laughs> So hey, give me. I'm not the best at this. Okay. All right, I'm give me not the most out. Give me two dots of yellow. Two dots of yellow. Like that. Uh huh. One another one beside it. And like that. Yes. All right. Now. That's good. What I want you to do is drag with your paintbrush across and mix. Okay. So just drag it drag all Drag it across together. and mix it all together. Okay. Oh, oh, that's cool. Uh huh. Mix it all so you get an even mix of your color. Whoa, that's like a dark so, green. I it like is. That. So put a little swipe of that green on that color wheel and let's see if you got it correct. All right. A little swipe. All right, so I got you perfect. have green. All right, so how many? I want you to make a little mark of your green right there. Right here? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, so you used how much? One dot blue. One blue. And two yellow. And two yellow. Makes a nice Makes cool green. green. Okay, so I want you to um, take your little sponge in there. You can, dro you can drop your paintbrush in there so you can okay. get it clean. Take this sponge and wipe it all off. Take your sponge, wipe it off. I actually, you know what? Let's hold off on that because we're gonna go ahead and mix those oh. tertiary colors in here as well. Oh, okay. So, nice. let's um, give me a dot of yellow above that. A dot of yellow above it? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm seeing your little dot of yellow coming up. And then give me a dot of blue below it. And one dot of blue. All right. So, what I want you to do is with your brush, dry off your brush. You should always wash your brush in between and dry it so that you make sure that you don't get any extra color or water in there that you don't need because it's going to affect your color. 
Yeah, it's gonna fix it a lot. All right. So what I want you to do, Jara, is I want you to take that blue and I want you to just slide it over there to one half of the green, and I want you to mix that green with that blue. Oh, okay. And just slide it over here. Mm -hmm. Mix a little corner. Mix a little corner with that green. You need some more green. There you go. Keep going. Oh, that's a nice bluish yes. green. Yes. So slide the rest of that blue over there. So we want to make sure we get it pretty even. We'll and then sure about half there. of that, yeah, get some more green in there. There you go. Oh, that looks cool. That's a nice bluish green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you get it all mixed up, I want you to put um, a little dab on here. A little dab on here to make mm -hmm. sure it's it? Yep. Get some more of that so you can actually tell what it is. <laughs> oh, that's some bluish green. That's bluish Blue green. green. Okay. You like that one? I like it. All I right. like it. So go ahead and mark, put a little mark of that blue green on there. All right. Yeah. Nice blue All right. green. So one blue plus your green. Okay. Makes blue green. Makes blue green. So you just made your tertiary color. Now, wash your brush, and I want you to do the same thing with the yellow, but I want you to put it on this side. Got it. You okay. don't want to mix them. Correct. <laughs> you don't want to mix blue-green with yellow. That's what, that's Make sure you dry. green, right? Maybe. I don't know. So you're going to make a yellow-green. I'm going to make a yellow-green mm -hmm. on the other side. On the other side. Okay. Yellow plus green. See, yellow the green's gonna look like that. All uh -huh. right. Oh, that's coming out nicely. That's coming out nicely. All right. So you want it a little more yellow than green. So definitely mix all that yellow in there. There you Every go. Every little bit of yellow needs okay. to be Okay. Yellow green. So I want you to put that yellow green above that above this mm -hmm. all right all right put a bit of that yellow green so above this it. is one yellow one yellow one green plus your green now there are other ways that you can mix this you could you know how you started out with um one blue and one yellow to make your green yes so you could do Green. Two yellows and one blue. We did. Huh? We did do two yellows and one blue. We did do two. I'm sorry. You're correct. Thank you for fixing that for me. <laughs> so, you're at, so you want a little more yellow when you're trying to make a yeah. yellow green. So yeah. if you um, wanted to mix it this way instead of doing it like this, try mixing that together. Wash your brush out. Yeah. Try yeah. mixing that together that way and see if it gives you a similar color. Yeah, or if it gives us normal green or some kind of blue green. Yes. Blue might overpower. You never know. Mm -hmm. So the blue would only overpower if you had more blue than yellow. Yeah, which we don't. We definitely have more yellow. Correct. Thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> you get some big dots. Dollars. <laughs> like sour cream, a big dollop of sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> Can never what have too much sour woman? cream. <laughs> what is it with this woman? <laughs> well, you know, we do have a chef in the house, so we talk about food a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is pretty true. So, look at that color. Once you get all that yellow mixed in there, mm -hmm. and look how close it is to that other one. It's you see how similar it is? Close. It's almost identical, isn't it? It's, it's like the in between of the yellow green. So why don't you put green. a mark of that right there and see what happens when you put it on the paper? And see what it looks like compared uh -huh. to it. Yep. Let's get it all mixed together off my brush since a lot of it's <laughs> on my brush. And then put it just right next uh -huh, to it. Right here. next to it. Yep. Just drip it. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta drip all it. Right. So it's almost, it's almost close, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it would is. you go with a little more yellow or would you go, um, what do you think you would do? Yellow. A little more yellow. So what would you say? Four drops of yellow? Four yellow and, and one, one blue. blue. Okay. To make it a little so bit brighter. So we're going to say our ideal yellow green yeah. 
would be four yellow, right? Four yellow, one blue. And one blue. All right. So for yellow, let's see. <laughs> four yellow and one blue will give you your yellow green. Wow. Okay. 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 So we're going to do that same thing, but we're going to change colors now. So go ahead and rinse out your brush, get that sponge, and or actually I'll help you out here. So while you're cleaning out your brush, I'm going to just wipe off your mat. Whoa, that looks so good. I know, right? And these are just those inexpensive little um, sponges like you can buy at this store. It looks store. good and it looks cool. It's really mm -hmm. good. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Looks good. Look cool doing it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Buy us products for a hundred million dollars. He's crazy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so which one are we doing next? We're doing the um. How about red, yellow? Yeah. The red and the yellow. So you want to make what? Red, yellow makes orange. Orange. Yeah, okay. Orange club. So give me. Um, we're working on orange, right? Yes. So give me. Um, Two drops of yellow. All right. And one drop of red. Because red is super overpowering. Because red is very overpowering. You are correct. It always overpowers everything when I mix it with colors. It always seems to overpower. Two yellows. Oh yeah, two yellows. Not one yellow, Jara. Two yellows. All right. And another. And the red. And one red. One red. I don't know why I closed that, but yeah, I did. Two yellow, one red makes, let's see. Got your brush. Yep. Okay. Let's see what it makes. All right, that's a lot of the uh, yellow and red. And you do have to mix everything you have to be able to get that appropriate shade that you're looking for. Yeah. You don't want to just mix a little bit. And then... Cause you got all this yellow on the side and that red over there. Make sure you get it all together. Yeah, make sure you get it off your brush, too. You <laughs> might have some yellow and red on your brush. All right, that's a nice orange. That that's is a nice, nice orange. orange. So I want you to give me a sample of your orange here. All right. Right here? Uh-huh. Okay. Nice oh, big nice splash orange. of that. Okay, so what I want you to do this time, instead of mixing like we did before, I want you to show the other way to get the colors. So I want you to, if we want to have this yellow orange, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna need to mix to be able to make a yellow orange? If we know that two yellows and one red makes orange, how many yellows should we add to make a yellow orange? Well, if you add it to orange, mm -hmm. it would be one yellow, but if you just wanna do it like how we did before with this one up here, mm -hmm. it'd probably be three yellow and one red. Okay. So what I want you to think about is we won't always have an opportunity to um, have this orange pre-mixed. So if you didn't want an orange and you just were looking for a yellow orange, I want you to know how many of each part you need to be able to create that. So what I want you to do is you can leave that orange there okay. and I want you to rinse out your brush Yes, ma'am. And so remember, the red is overpowering. So we're going to do actually four drops four of drops? yellow. Uh -huh. Sure. Four. Sure. That's going to be a super And we're going to do one drop of red. And then I want you to mix those. All right. That was a cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a tad itchy. Alright, alright, oh, it's coming out as an orange so far. It is orange, yes. <laughs> it's supposed to be orange. But we got a lot yeah, of But it this, needs to uh, be a yellowy orange. Yeah. So it is lighter than that, correct? Yes. Even that though you don't have it all mixed yet. Make sure you get it all off your brush too, because you got a bunch of red on your brush. There yeah, you go. Yeah, I'm getting it all off and then mixing it all together. Alright. I still got some yellow over here. All right. on so I want you to try that yellow orange right here and see how close you are. Now, this could have printed out a little bit differently, but 
That's pretty close. You do have, it's more yellow than it is orange, right? Yeah. So it's definitely different here. So I want you to give me a sample of your yellow orange right above it. Yellow orange right above uh -huh. it, got it. So to create, no, yeah, right here. So to create your yellow orange, we used four yellows. Four yellows and, and one, one red. red. There we go, right there. So rinse out your brush. And, then, and we're going to create our um, red orange. So to create red orange, what do you think we need? Um, I don't know. More. It could probably be maybe two yellow and two red, or maybe one yellow and one red, or two red. So let's try two red, because we definitely want it to be more red than than yellow, right? Yeah, definitely one yellow. And let's try, well, we used three yellows to make the orange. So let's try two yellows and two reds and see what happens. Yeah, I think it will turn out pretty well since red is super overpowered. It is, yes. Make sure you get it all mixed in there. Come on, your red. And yellow. It's time for y'all to mix. Looks like ketchup and mustard. Mm. <laughs> Ke Makes mustard you hungry. Isn't, mustard isn't very good, but mustard ketchup, yeah. Yeah, I like mustard. Yeah, you're weird. Thank you. You're mm. weird too, equally. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Okay, so Man. that is a perfect red orange. It so really we used is. two. Reds, right? Two reds, two yellows. And two yellows. Let's compare it to the now, red, orange, and the Now, give me a sample. Wheel. Okay. Should we compare it to the color wheel? Let's compare it to the color wheel. Here you go. All right. Red, orange. Red, orange. Very nice. Oh, that All is right. very nice. Okay. So, let's clean this off. Clean out your brush. And we are moving on. To purple. Purple, so, red and blue. So purple is an extremely difficult color to make when you are mixing to get it the right shade that you think of when you think yeah. of purple. So I want you to start with one red and one blue. See what happens. I feel like Red's more overpowering than blue. Well, we're probably gonna probably gonna need one red and maybe two blue. Okay, so let's mix I, it and I see. think this won't work out. You don't think it'll work out? Yeah, I don't think it'll turn out too well. Oh, that's like a super dark purple. It is a dark purple. Wow, super dark purple. <laughs> So before we make our final decision, this is what I want you to try. So leave that, rinse out, here, get some of that excess off so you can leave some behind. Okay. Now rinse out your brush and let's try two blues and a red. I think this, uh... And then I want you to try two reds and a blue and see what you get. Oh. Probably get, get this, but darker. Okay. This is more like a red purple. Mm -hmm. This is like a red purple. Let me just dry that off. All right. Two blue, one red. Let's go. Two blue, one red. Looks purple. different, right? Yeah, it's looking like a dark purple to me. <laughs> yeah, it's still dark purple, looks like. Two blue, one red. Okay. These two are the same. Almost. Two things look the same? Okay. So, rinse your brush out and mix that other one. Yeah, we're going to get the same result as that. <laughs> I already know the result of it. Okay. There we go. The 
is super overpowering red. So next we should try um, three blue and one red. Whoa, this actually looks different so far. It does look different, doesn't it? But we need to mix in everything. Yes. To make sure. You are correct. It's different. All right, that's like. <laughs> that is a red purple. Really? Yes. So this was a purple? purple? So this is your purple. This one needs a little bit more blue. So what I want you to do is give me a sample of that red purple right there. Give you a sample of the red purple? Uh huh, right here. There. Right here. Enough. All of it. Okay, so red purple is how many? Two reds, right? Two reds, one blue. Two reds plus one blue. All right, so I'm happy with this purple right here. So rinse yeah. out your brush. So that's a purple. <laughs> you actually made a good purple. Yes, so purple is one red and one blue. Yep. So give me a sample of purple right here. All right. No, no, no. This one. This one's yep. the best. Yep, that's you? the best one. All right. I'm mixing it all in. Time to give you a nice little sample. So there's my purple. Now, we want this one to be a little bit more blue. So right now we have two blues and one red, correct? Yep, two blues and one red. Let's so. try mixing in one more blue and see what you get. And that will be three blues and one red. Three blues and one red. Dry this off and mix it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely turning blue. It's more blue than it is purple, right? Yeah, right now it's more blue than it is purple. But you're looking for a blue purple. So, do you think it qualifies? I mean, still need to mix a little bit more, but it almost, I think it might qualify. All right. So that was three blues. Three blues and one red. And one red. And it looks brighter and more blue than the purple. Mm-hmm. And definitely doesn't look like the red Correct. purple. So give me a sample of that there. Right there. All there right. There you go. So we have created our secondary colors and our tertiary colors. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do, for those of you who got black and white, we're gonna do tints and shades. Okay, so rinse out your brush. Give this All another right. rinse here. So tints and shades, anytime you want to do a tint, you add white, did you know that? So uh, a tint. I know if you want to make something brighter, you'd add a white. So tint is a lighter color version of your color, and a shade oh, is a darker version of your color. So if you're creating a shade, you're going to add black. And if you're Don't creating add a, lot a tint, because it'll totally yes, overpower everything. You never want to go heavy with black, no matter what it is that you're working with, because it's a lot easier to add more later than it is to take away. If we're gonna add a dog, we should add the dot of black i don't know if we should add a dot of black i think it should be half a dot so we're going to work with tints first so i'm going to put a drop of yellow and drop a red drop a red drop a blue oh all the primary yes now we're going to create <coughs> bless you <laughs> i got some nails i got a rival we're going to create a tint of each one of these so we're going to do one two Three, four. Whoa, that's a lot. Drops man. of white. Well, we want a lighter version. It's a very light version. You're gonna get out of that one right there. Four. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> oh, white. Uh, right. Yes, so, I am. Mix those together. I'm gonna mix the yellow. You mix the blue. All right. Blue's my favorite color. I you know. That's blue. why I stuck it on that side for you. <laughs> you know me the way. I do. All right, so I have mixed this yellow. Oh, this is the kind of blue Isn't that, that I love. I so love this kind of I'm blue. So I'm gonna put my um, example of my tint on here, and Jara, I want you to put your example of your blue tint on here. My blue tint uh -huh. will be right here. Yes. And then 
The red tint will be right. So in make the sure you dry off your brush. Let's go ahead and mix that red. We're yeah. creating you go a ahead lighter and mix the red, version. <laughs> which basically makes pink. It does a lighter make version. pink, which is whose favorite color? This one right here, Taff. What? This one right here. <laughs> he might be a little bit from Texas. <laughs> Teeny okay, bit. so there is our tint. <laughs> so what I want you to do now is we're going to um, put a sample of each color on the paper here so we can see the difference in our tints and shades. So if you will, just, just enough that you can put some blue under that blue. So I'm gonna put this yellow here. All right. And then we're gonna rinse it out top on. Mm-hmm. And get your blue. Go ahead and do your blue for me. Right here. Okay. Under that. Be my blue. Uh-huh. My blue blue. Now, we're going to create our shade. So let's wipe this off. Oh. And so oh. with the shade, we're going to do the exact opposite. So we had a bunch of white, remember, to create our tint. Mm -hmm. But do we want a bunch of black to create our shade? Um, no. no. <laughs> you want like half a dollar So black. I have my handy little uh, glue tip here. I'm going to do just one yeah. little dollop of black here oh, God, that's for a each big one. Boy. I don't know, Mom. That's big. <laughs> and then we're going to do four drops of that. Definitely. Four drops of the color. I so think of it in terms of opposite. So, so with the tints, we had four drops of white and one color. With the shades, we have four drops of color and one black. And so while Jarrah is putting that there, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing. All right, red is done. So depending on how dark you want your shades or how um, light you want your tints will vary on how much of that color. So this black, we're gonna definitely need more of the yellow to be able to create a shade. So instead of four drops of yellow, I'm gonna have five here and see right. what happens. That's almost and that's black. That's a much see? nicer, um, that's a much nicer shade. I told you it super overpowers it, absolutely yes. everything. So five, actually I think I might go with one more and do six drops. Oh my God. <gasps> six drops? Mm -hmm. So six parts color to one part black for my shade. So I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. So I'm gonna say six of my color and another word for color is hue, by the way. We have talked about that in class. Hue? Did you know hue? That's a weird word. It is a weird word, but it means color. So we've got okay. six of our color plus one black. I think and this is a good um, blue, a dark blue. Yes, it is. And one color plus. We might need how many more. whites did we use for our tint? Uh, we used four. Four, right? yeah, yes. Four. Plus four whites. So one color plus four whites on each of our tints. So our black, our shade's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm happy with that. So we had, put your sample right there. All right, I don't uh -huh. know about this You don't like dark. it? It's kinda like a navy blue, isn't it? Yeah. So we have, um, we have five parts. No, we had four parts blue. Four parts blue, yeah. Plus one black. Plus okay. one black, because black so is- So go ahead and mix that, yes. Go ahead and mix that red. And then we will be done with our color mixing lesson portion of this and then Jara and I are going to use all these colors that we've created we're going to make bigger batches of them to be able to cover our space area but being that we know now how much of each one to mix we can go ahead and create them in larger batches to make our paintings for our actual project so Jara is going to Jara what do you think about that one I think that one's pretty good uh, or should do you think we need one more drop of red I think you're right. It's good. You think it's good? Okay. I think it's good. So that was four red and four red and one black. And one black. So give me that guys. sample right there. One nice big sample of this uh -huh. coming right up.
so we have finished our pictures. One thing I want to point out to you is, do you want to hold yours up? Yeah, sure. So we did have to go back over our lines just a little bit. So if you take your paintbrush and you have a, a little extra water in it, you can have more of a transparent color and you'll be able to see your lines a little easier. If you do it a little more opaque, which is what we did, and our paints were a little thicker, we did have to go back over our designs with our crayon just a little bit so that you could still see it. But overall, what do you think, Jara? I think I'm mine's mine over. really good. I think mine's really good. <laughs> I think yours is really good. So we have both of our examples here. And I can't wait to see what you turn in for your work. See you next time. Bye-bye.